Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Randy the Research Rat with PeptideCritic.com and today we are going to go over the Gansolin pen. Uh, it's available in our store now. Uh, for those of you that know what it is, you've probably already tabbed out of the video and are adding one to your cart. For those of you that don't know what it is, this might interest you. Um, this is an auto injector pen. Uh, you choose how many units you would like to deliver on the dial. You push this little button on the end and the spring lo loaded mechanism delivers it. Uh, it takes the same 3ML vials or 3ML cartridges that you're used to. It's an amazing, amazing product. It's actually, uh, it, it is a, uh, what's called a servo pen, um, but that's a medical device and this is a research device. So technically they're two different things, even though they're made in the same line with the same parts, there's just different writing on it. So the first 30 that we sell will come in the box, but past that, we're not getting them with boxes because they're too expensive to ship otherwise. Uh, the uh, the manufacturer made a, uh, a little, uh, adjustment for us because I kind of wanted one with a box. So we're going to open it and see what it comes with. So let's see. So it comes in this case. It's a zipper case. Pretty cool. And we've got some paperwork and we'll go through all that and then we'll just put the box on the side. So you get a manual that is absolutely in Chinese. So uh, Randy can read this. I can't. Um, so I'll set that aside for Randy. Uh, these are all pretty standard instructions, but it's cool to have. Uh, this appears to be some kind of registration card. You have a warranty card. And uh, I'll tell you right now, the warranty is if you have a problem with your uh, Gansolin pen, I'm gonna make it right. Most of them, once we're sold out of the ones with boxes, will come like this. So, you know, comes with the zippered case. It's not terrible. And then the pen's inside. Uh, the way this works is exactly how you, how you are used to. You uh, pop it open, unclick it, and you put a cartridge in, and you close it. Now, when you get it, you're immediately gonna start fiddling with it, cranking it, and you're gonna say, okay, I wanna do 60 units. It's gonna go very quick, okay? So I've set it to 60. And the plunger will move, but it's going to happen very quickly. And that's because it has no resistance. It doesn't deliver that quickly. So if you get it and you start playing with it, which I suggest you do, uh, you're not, that's not something I'd worry about. It's not something you should worry about or really need to. That's normal behavior. Now here's one I have. Uh, this one is actually already loaded with, uh, you guys aren't gonna like this. Uh, <laughs> it's loaded with that, so let's waste some. So here we have a uh, Easy Touch syringe. It is, uh, I sucked backwater into it and put it out, and let's see what uh, 30 units looks like. So let's get this focused so you can see it. So I'm going to push the button. Well, what do you know? That's 30 units. I'll see what a 60 unit push looks like. Yeah, I just, I just, I just wasted some. Cope and seethe, I guess. Let's see. So we'll do a full 60 units into this easy touch. So as you notice, I just cranked it to 60 units. And I have this mechanism here. The other thing is you can take your finger off the mechanism and it will stop. Uh, and Let's just go for it. And what do you know? 60 units. So these are absolutely awesome. Uh, I wouldn't use them for things that sting, that require buffering, like uh, researching NAD or with uh, anything along those lines, but just for just about everything else, I have uh, I have three of these in my lineup right now. Uh, you know, they showed up a couple days ago and I went through a few of them just to make sure quality was there, but we have them if you want them. Uh, the V2s are still fantastic. If you've got V2s, this isn't like, oh, it's gonna be better, but it's just, a, it's an experience. It's, it's not a, uh, 
it's it's not a tool it's an experience so uh, i hope that was helpful uh probably wasn't we're selling these pens they're available at our store at peptidecritic.com store and uh oh yeah another thing i'd note all the other in all the other pens uh this rod here is uh plastic and on here it's metal because there is so much spring tension when it pushes it anyways they're available at our store at, at uh peptidecritic.com store if you want to talk about pens or anything like that uh join us on our internet forum uh community community.peptidecritic.com people talk about protocols blood work all the fun stuff that we're not supposed to but we don't care because that's ours and uh if you want to argue about how dumb this is or how overpriced it is in the comments uh we're here for it. Randy's ready. So as always, uh, happy researching from Jeff and Randy the Research Rat with peptidecritic.com.